Friday is the day that I will never forget what happened. I was on my way on the mosque to take a Friday prayer, as every Muslim in the world uh, does. Yeah, I was uh, entering the mosque and we we're sitting there listening to the Imam uh, preaching, uh, telling us stories and then something like that. Then, I don't know, just probably 10 into 10 into or 15 minutes after, I heard a loud explosion noise. I thought it was a electricity uh, malfunctioning or whatever it is, yeah. And then people started looking back and then uh, once the noise became bigger and then people would start running and panicking and then spreading everywhere. Once I know that it was a gunshot sound, I started looking for an exit, the nearest exit, uh, so that I can escape from the shooter. So I, uh, I walked and ran, passing those people on the ground. There were many people uh, falling and get shot right next to me, behind me. And there was just bullets flying everywhere. So I just uh, ran as fast as I could, uh, barefooted. Course. And later that night, I couldn't sleep until like 4 a.m. or something. And then I realized it could have been me who killed. It could have been anybody. And I could have, I could have died and not, not seeing my family again. Anything could have happened. My Arabian friend got killed that day, so I didn't know initially. I tried to tried to contact him. His phone went through, but he wasn't answering. And he was sitting uh, five rows in front of me. He's a good man. I mean. He is very religious and attends every pray Friday prayer that uh, happens during uh, every week. It's, it's it's just unfair, you know. Um, he didn't deserve it, really. I thought that New Zealand was the safest country in the world. They say I never I never thought this kind of thing would happen in such a peaceful country.